Guess where we are yet? It's HW. We're down at Bondi Beach. It's the third day of summer in Australia. I think it got up to about 25 degrees Celsius today. Which for some of you in the Northern Hemisphere, I think that makes it just over 75 Fahrenheit. So as a result, Sydney side has flocked to the beach today. Now it's about 20 past 5 now, so it's about, you know, it's coming into the evening. But as you can see, there's still a stack of people on the beach lapping up the sun. And there's a bunch of surfers out there as well. Now I'm happy I came down to Bondi Beach today. I don't usually do filming on Saturdays, but this week's been so busy that I took an opportunity to come down here this afternoon, early evening, to do a film. So I think the light's quite good. But we're not going to start here on Bondi Beach. Um, we're going to start across the road on Campbell Parade. I'm going to film a few things on Campbell Parade. Then we'll make our way down Campbell Parade and then we'll get over to the other side of Bondi over there. Or what's called North Bondi. We're on the south side of Bondi right now. And then I might actually even go down onto the sand and film the water and then come back up. We come back at this ramp up here, back to where we've started here, which is underneath this delightful pine tree. So, I'll just quickly switch off the camera and I'll see you over on Campbell Parade where we'll start off on the first spot that I want to show you. So this is the first location on Campbell Parade that I wanted to show you. This is Sir Thomas Mitchell Road and I know this road really well because I had a mate that lived down this street and I used to come over here especially in the summer to get down to Bondi Beach he was a bit more of a surfer than I was or a bit better surfer than I was I wasn't very good um, but he was fully into it so as we look down Sir Thomas Mitchell Road quick shout, shout out to Jason and his brother Daniel if you come across this video when I say HW, you know, you'll know who that is. But yeah, what I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on this building first. Right on the corner here, back in the days when I used to come and see Jason. This was a mechanics workshop. And, uh, and then one of Australia's richest men, J um, James Packer. Uh, he purchased it and redeveloped it into this... Uh, penthouse that you see in front of us now and as you can see we've just crossed the road over there there's Bondi Beach so it commands pretty damn good views of the water uh, but he doesn't live there anymore he uh, sold it um, I think they used to call it um, I think they used to call it his bachelor pad but I'm pretty sure he uh, he's married a couple of times and I'm pretty sure he had uh, a couple of different wives living up there with him at different stages. So yeah, that's his, uh, I, I can't remember how much it was. Um, actually, I, I've got a, got a funny feeling that it may have sold for around 25 million uh, back in 2018, but I might be wrong. So as it's early evening, there's a lot of people starting to get ready to hit the booze and, and go out for dinner. What's going to be interesting for me today as we get down Campbell Parade is to see how many of the delightful little restaurants that I remembered, whether they're still here or not. I've got a feeling they've mostly been overtaken by disgusting uh, uh, like fast food outlets. But we'll see how we go. There's always there's always been cafes around, so here's a cafe just here. Or it might be a restaurant. There used to be delightful little like Italian seafood restaurants along here. I think I uh, I took my wife on her first first date along here at an Italian seafood restaurant. It turned out she didn't like seafood, but uh, 
since she's been uh, hooked up with me she's uh, she's become a, a fan now so there's a few uh, there's a few retail outlets here a few um, surf shops and and things like that I've never noticed that before look at that bar up there on top of or under the underneath that ocean apartment block there it's interesting I wonder what that's called looks like it might be called Don Petros it's like a Mexican restaurant it's pretty cool yeah so a few more surf shops now what are we coming up to here cafe grumpy's pizza bar there's plenty of people out getting their early dinner that's for sure Gonna talk over this music. Some place called Salty's pretty noisy in there. One thing I've noticed as I've got got along past some of these uh, cafes and restaurants and bars so far is there seems to be a lot of uh, hens parties going on. There's a lot of young ladies with uh, you know with the uh, what are they like a tiara on their head dressed up pretty funny his hotel Ravisi's here it's a pretty popular drinking spot in Bondi Hall Street's got a bunch of restaurants and cafes as well but I'm not going to get down there today I'll keep heading down Campbell Parade you can probably hear all the noise coming out of Ravisi's behind me I'll hold the, ca the uh, microphone over there Never really bothered to go into Ravisi's myself. See all the punters across the road waiting to get on the 380 or 333, get up to Bondi Junction Station, head back out into the to the west or back to the city wherever they came from for the day come down for a swim I was about to go then <laughs> I would have got would have got run over by that moped Wow we still don't get the green light this is outrageous Come on, give us a walk. Yes! So it's like a ramen shop that's gone out of business. Yeah, it's empty. Seafood restaurant. I mean, not seafood restaurant, fish and chip shop that just happens to sell fresh seafood as well see this is what I was talking about this strip just here heading up to North Bondi is just all full of junk it's all full of fast food which is a shame I'd rather have some independent cafes and, and restaurants along here to be honest so 
you got all the usual fare along here burgers Oporto's Ben and Jerry's ice cream so I got my head taken off by a pigeon then a few more cafes and restaurants down this little laneway here as well again a lot of junk though there's one cafe down there Pompeii's or cafe restaurant if you want to call it that delivery riders are getting ready for a, a big Saturday night a lot of these beachside suburbs in Sydney are usually uh, oh what's the word um, you know mostly mostly young people live in these suburbs around here because of the proximity to the beach and the and the city most of them are renters and so, you know, on a Saturday, Saturday night, when they're getting ready to go out or they've been to the beach for the day, um, it's a habit to get on the Uber Eats and get some food delivered. So that's why all of those uh, delivery riders were waiting back there. This is Curl Lewis Street up here. There's a few more restaurants and cafes up there as well but I'm not going to bother walking up there let's just stick on the main strip today I wonder if I'll have to wait on this intersection as long as we did on the last one Almost missed out on Hotel Bondi just there. There's Hotel Bondi behind us. So a few people behind the glass over there sculling down their booze. I'll tell you something interesting about Bondi back in the day like any, even if you go back to the uh, sort of go back to the 80s so the late 80s early 90s all around Bondi can you believe it or not we used to call it as a lot of Sydney siders used to call it scum valley can you believe that so um, I, you know what's become our most prestigious beach suburb um, back in the day it was considered uh, yeah practically a shanty town and it's not it's not like that now so I think it was really the uh, the city Olympics that kicked it off the uh, the rich and famous started to move in and now it's a pretty expensive place to live and even back in the day where I came from Coogee, Coogee Beach that was a lot rougher back then back in those days as well I'm amazed at how early some people start their start their dinner on Saturday nights. It must still only be around about 5:30 and they're already in there seated eating and drinking. 
stuff this, I'm not waiting at the lights again, I'm going. So we head up to Bondi Public School, which on some weekends has uh, market stalls. Um, head past a couple of restaurants. South American street food and a, it's a cheeky sushi train just there. Oh, there you go, the time's up on the school sign. It's 5.45 p.m. and it's now 20 degrees so Celsius. So the temperature's come down a bit while I've been here. So I think I might, I might walk down to North Bondi Surf Club and, uh, and then make the turn there. And either and either head down the beach or head along the promenade so let's cross over Campbell Parade here because there's not much more on that side of the road now except for some apartment blocks oh, there is that cafe on the corner there that that raw bar but you've all seen cafes before so let's just keep going When I get across to North Bondi Surf Club as well, I might take a break there. Let the camera cool down a bit before we get down onto the beach. Let's make these cars stop, eh? Yes, the good old crossing, the good old zebra crossing. There's the old parking lot for the beach along there. Wonder how much it costs to park there now. Wouldn't be cheap. If you're wondering, all of these apartment blocks directly across the road from the beach. Uh, even, even for a one bedroom unit, you're looking at millions. But as I said, back in the day, you would have uh, you would have been able to pick one up for probably 200 or less 200 grand or less but those days are long gone somewhere along here there used to be a um, there used to be a club I just can't picture where it was though. I've got a feeling it might have been there where that new apartment block has been built. So yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon and evening today in Bondi. Shout out to all you all you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, in the UK, in Spain, in France, in the US, probably starting to get some cold weather now. But as we come into the Christmas season in Sydney, we'll be on the beach. Enjoying the warm weather, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get too much rain like we did last year. There's a few people getting ready to go out over there as well. That looks like a bit of a bit of a young person's block of units in there. So yeah, we're just coming up to North Bondi Surf Club now Might get ready to shut off the camera until we let it cool down and then I'll get down onto the beach I 
all right i think that'll do for now let it cool down a bit and then i'll start it back up when i get on the beach all right hw's made it down onto the sand and i'm sort of up the north end of uh, bondi because the sun's behind me i don't want to film into the sun because it'll get quite glary but yeah there's the beautiful bondi beach there's a few boogie borders and surfers out there at the moment if you want a bit of a one of a bit of a, a lesson on um, surf safety as well you mugs that come out here and try to drown yourself on bondi beach just here where these board riders are you definitely don't want to swim here you want to swim in front of in between that yellow and red flag over there and there's one of the lifeguards that you see on the bondi rescue uh, tv show just there i know that gets shown in a number of different countries so the ones in blue are paid by the council and the ones that you see in the red and yellow are volunteers There's the North Bondi RSL up, up, up there that you can see with the blue banner on it. I wasn't talking about that before. That, that RSL's always been there. So I might come into the middle of the flag area here. And then I'll switch off the camera. And I'll get over to a different part of the beach. But I'll quickly have a swing around so that you can see behind me how glary the sun is and how many people are in the main part of the beach the middle part of the beach can you see them all in the middle part of the beach over there it's pretty packed so yeah let's switch off the camera and um and get behind the lifeguard tower over there and then film backwards so now we're on the other side of the uh lifeguard tower here which looks like it's undergoing a bit of renovation probably uh, got undermined by some big uh, big storm probably and they're probably shoring it up but yeah look there's the main part of the beach just there still a lot of people hanging around and look it's getting near 6 p.m now and the sun on the right side of me here it's like burning my face <laughs> so that late in the day and you can still get burned in australia so remember that when you come out here i'll see if i can sort of film sideways along here so that i don't have to get the camera in the in the sun Guys, keen as mustard, that one running running over there. That's always a hard task running in the sun. Oh, sorry, running in the sun. Well, running in the sun, yeah, but I mean running in the sand, I, I meant to say. I'll flip the camera back around when we get down near the skate ramp which is down the south of south side of the beach so that lady I just passed there was crying but just trying to get a hold of her mate yeah so starting to get that time of the day people are starting to pack up probably getting hungry hungry for the food and the booze might flip around when I get down to the skate ramp and film some of these lovely murals that are painted on the walls
Yeah, look at that, even the volunteer surf lifesavers are starting to pack up their stuff. The volleyball action on the beach. It's only a couple of nets, there's that one and there's a net down there. Thought they had more than that. All right, let's flip around. I'll put the camera down away from the sun and film some of these, some of these murals on the wall um, of the car park. It's the car park up there and the promenade here and the beach. So let's check out some of these murals. Hopefully they still show up with the sun up the top and the shadow. Yeah, that's a creepy looking one. Ah, oh, there's a mural too. To honour the Australians that died in the Bali bombings. There's a terrible chapter in Australian history. It's one of the first times I think that we really faced a big terrorism event like that. I recognise her, Pauline Mensa. It's funny I should, I should see a mur mural of her. I'm pretty sure up on that grassy hill over there that um, that I met her checking out the waves one day back a long time ago when I was with my mate Jason. And I think he introduced I think he introduced me to her because he knew who she was. Because back then she was a pretty pretty mad surfer then too. Over in that corner of the beach there where you see a lot of people <laughs> drowning in that um, Bondi rescue show. That was where we used to surf. Because, you know, it was close to his house up there on Sir Thomas Mitchell Road. But, um, yeah, mostly he surfed. I mostly almost drowned. And they used to have a name for that spot. <laughs> And I can't remember what it was. There was a certain nickname, a nickname for that spot to to surf. Hey, mate. That's the second time I've had that guy waving at the camera. You can see in the shadows over there. The Bondi icebergs, which for a lot of people marks the start of the coastal walk, Bondi to Coogee. Let's get around the other side of the ramp so that we don't have the sun in the lens of the camera. See if there's anybody decent on the ramp. <laughs> Ah, looks like it's mostly kids, but we'll see. Yeah, not many people on here. Looks like 
looks like there might be a kid on there with with his coach or his dad or something. Maybe it's a dad coach or... It's all kitted out in the Santa Cruz gear though. Ah, looks like they're still still learning. Jesus, look at the size of this, this pool here. I don't, don't want to fancy riding up these walls, to be honest. Good little skate park, though. Pretty sure they've had competitions in here before. Shit, I almost... <laughs> I almost fell down that pool then. <laughs> that would have been good fun. Um, oh yeah, let's walk onto the grass and down to the beach again. And then get up those stairs on the other side. Look this guy, keen as mustard. Must be going for the Kuji to Bondi run record or something. This guy running to fit in a, a, a surf before dinner. Christ, when we were kids, we used to play touch footy on these hills. I don't know how we ever did it. They're so steep. And they're not exactly plush grass either. I was about to jump down this wall here, but it's too far. I bloody periscope my legs if I jump down there. So given it's so late in the evening, there'll be no nectar at the end of this vid. And by the time I upload this vid, it's probably going to be Sunday in Sydney. Maybe even Sunday night, it may not even pop in until Monday, Sydney time. But it's still good for you guys up in the Northern Hemisphere, because you'll at least get it on Sunday to watch. Maybe you can watch it when you're having your morning nectar. I might sneak up this grass here to avoid the surfer that's walking behind me. He's just going to get his big board in the way. And we'll go this way. There's another view back over Bondi Beach. See, there's still plenty of people on there. Still plenty of people lapping up the sun on the third day of summer. Oh look, seeing we're close to it, we might as well go and have a quick peek at Bondi Icebergs. So nice little waves out there. Surfers are enjoying them. I've been so busy today and all week, but especially today, haven't even uh, had a chance to uh, have a nectar, which is unheard of for me, because I usually have at least three, sometimes four. 
on an average day I have a, a flat white in the morning and then the rest of the day I, I, I pop down piccolos Ah, it's nice up here now out of the sun with the breeze, the sea breeze. Oh yeah, there's a few people swimming in Bondi icebergs. If you've never been to Bondi Icebergs, um, obviously the club's based on you know a group of swimmers who use this ocean pool here and have a habit of taking a winter swim in the cold winter water. That's the iceberg's name. But uh, the club itself, which has been rebuilt, you've got a like a a la carte restaurant up the top, and then you've got like a bistro down the down the bottom. So you can have a sort of like a pub sort of meal, club sort of meal down the bottom and then up the top is the is the posh a la carte restaurant. Uh, HW came down here one day looking for that seafood restaurant on Campbell Parade which wasn't wasn't there anymore and desperate to have seafood so I went into Bondi Icebergs and <laughs> picked the a la carte restaurant of course and uh, I didn't have enough time to go through the whole five hour menu so they had to give me like entree and main and, and I had to run after that. So yeah, as we we look over to Ben Buckler across the way there, across the mouth of Bondi Beach. Thanks for coming on this skirt around Bondi Beach and Bondi and Campbell Parade on a Saturday. Beautiful warm Saturday in Sydney, third day of summer. The video is over.